we We'll get to your calls in just a minute. First, though, we're going to have a, a quick talk here about what's going on with this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation, which, to be honest, I'm not 100% up to speed on. I just know everybody's talking about it. It seems to me like it's an out-and-out out media circus at this point, and I don't understand why either of them have decided to do this. Because basically, they... They decided to put themselves through this. And I, I, I don't know, it, it's turned into just some of the most tawdry, disturbing, sad, sad testimony um, that it seems like they voluntarily walked into. I don't know. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some insight from uh, Dr. Samita Nandi, Director at Center for Media and Celebrity Studies. Um, Doc, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time. Oh, it's a pleasure to join. Thank you for having me. Would you, would you characterize this as, as just an out-and-out out media circus at this point, something that's turned into a, a real cause celeb, as they say? I would say so, just because, you know, there's a whole media frenzy around it, and it seems like fans are really interested to know what's going on in what should be private in a courtroom you know i think yes. this is for the first time you know we're having live streaming from a courtroom and it seems to be very serious and it's obviously very important for johnny depp is it important for johnny depp that's what i'm trying to wrap my head around doctor why did i mean he's suing her for libel because she accused him of being abusive yeah so he decided he wanted to try and you know clear his name by going through this extremely public exercise is that is that really the wish that he has here well i sense that there was a bit of sarcasm from amber heard and um and he really took it seriously and the kind of abuse that happens in a domestic relationship behind the doors he wanted to make it public and i think there's an ethical reason behind it because a lot of times from my experience uh abuse does have happened behind the doors so why not have it public so he wanted to reverse the situation that's my understanding and i think so far he had justice for himself but of course you know we have another couple of weeks to go with amber heard that her testimonials are still pending do you think uh taking a look at where it's gone to this point either of them are benefiting from what's going on I think uh, in terms of storytelling, um, in terms of, you know, justice, uh, I feel if anybody is benefiting, it is Johnny Depp, but not necessarily for his profile. I, I do sense that his acting career was damaged. That's what he says, you know, because of this particular situation in the past. And it seems, you know, his profile is rising right now, but, you know, it's probably for an ethical cause you know for him again it was important you know to uh, bring balance and to be heard so definitely I mean it is raising a lot of profile and if it's for justice um, you know maybe there's value in this uh, certainly yeah absolutely I can see the upside to that um, and, and, and Amber heard uh, her profile and her um, public persona has really taken some hits there's been some i mean again we're going back to social media but she's just been taking an absolute beating on social media uh, as a result of all of this i know i think uh, a lot of people didn't know about amber heard before they definitely knew about johnny depp because of his excellent acting skills you know that's something that we need to remember you know what a versatile actor he is you know he plays different characters um, but because of the abusive situation that he had, he feels his acting career was damaged. And now Amber Heard, you know, is, you know, a, no pun intended. She is being hurt too, you know. I don't think she was anywhere close to Johnny Depp in terms of her talent. Uh, but now, you know, her profile is being raised as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, if, if it's publicity, you know, the old saying is true that there's no such thing as bad press. I guess maybe yeah. there's a... There's a reason for this. Uh, interesting stuff. Doctor, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having me. That is Dr. Samita Nandi, who is the director at the Center for Media and Celebrity Studies. For months, I've been getting hundreds of voice messages from Noah and Sarah, two strangers trapped in a maze miles beneath the Denver International Airport. 